Hello again my friends, this is a boy Needs dog and welcome to the channel where I play rank and review every game released on the Evercade, old and new. In tonight's episode however we'll be doing none of those things. I always like to wait for a few new bits of goss before I do a news video and we've got enough now so tonight we'll be taking a look at the two new trailers for upcoming carts, the C64 Collection 3 and the Indie Heroes Collection 3. But first let's have a quick chat about the new update that came along with December's Game of the Month, well sort of. <laughs> Let's get started. So we had a new update that included Autofire for a selection of arcade titles and more importantly and what feels like a game changer saving high scores separate to save states. Hopefully this will also work on competition mode as you can't save in that mode but separately saving just your score would be bloody amazing. There were also a handful of other updates including one I've been waiting for a long time, the ability to finally be able to complete Legend of Wukong so I can do the bloody review. And I believe there's some performance enhancing for Duke Nukem 3D Meltdown and various other bits and bobs. Now I say had as there was a few issues with the new patch. I heard from Jamie in the comments and then since then a new hotfix patch has emerged that takes away the previous patch while they look into these issues. I'm glad they jumped right on it, it's always a shame when these sort of things crop up but it's just the nature of the beast, hopefully we'll be getting an update version before December is through. Right, now that's out of the way, let's take a quick look at the next two cuts to be released in February 2024. As usual, I'll shut up as we watch the two trailers, then after, we'll have a natter. Let's take a butchers. And first up is Indie Heroes Collection 3. You know this series of carts are really becoming one of the highlights of the other cage year. We get a sample of game a month all year round and get them all in a box set at the start of the next with bonus content thrown in. There's quite a few of these I can't wait to revisit. I got a bit behind on some of the reviews didn't I? <laughs> so we'll be able to finally finish them. Of the new titles we have an enhanced version of Alien Cat 2. I'm cool with that. And Little Tales looks like a tasty Game Boy game. Love a Game Boy game and they fit and feel perfect on the Super Pocket, just saying, in a game with a cat on a skateboard, bloody sold mate. And finally we have the third C64 collection. Though this car isn't blowing me away overall, it does look to have a couple of sequels to games I dug in the previous collections. And and but, most importantly of all, 
We've only got Boulder fucking Dash, baby. Don't care what else is on there. It's enough for me. Boulder Dash, my Mila, I'm happy. Praise be to Blaze. Anyway, what do you guys think of the two new carts? How do you think Indie Heroes 3 is shaping up compared to the two previous collections? And do you still dig Game of the Month? And what do you think of another C64 collection? Are you getting fed up with them yet? Would you like a different collection? I don't think we're going to be getting spectral ones, are we, from what I heard? If only. And what do you think of the update when we eventually get it working proper like? Are you someone who's been screaming for a fire on arcade titles? And how about separate scoreboard savings? It's a nice feature to be true. Any which way, you know, I always like hearing your opinions. And if you've made it here to the end of the episode, thanks ever so much for joining me. Leave a thumbs up or comment if you'd like. Either way, I'm just chuffed your picture head in for a goosey gander. As always, I hope you're having a freaking awesome day, my friends. And until next time, be seeing you.